What's up YouTube and Unreal Developers? In this video I'm going to show you how to use the settings menu widget tool that I've created here. Uh, you can find this on the Unreal Marketplace and I'll provide the links below. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you find this video helpful or if you find this tool helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Alright, so starting from the left, uh, we've got this uh, colors selection for the user. Uh, so you can let the user, uh, you know, generate a few colors for your UI or just objects throughout your game, however you want to use this, really. Um, these are all stored and saved in the uh, settings data manager. And, yeah. Uh, also, this, uh, of course, you have your game as slider here. Um, so, yeah, you can tap into all those colors and use those throughout your game. And then next we have this sound tab over here. So you got your master volume just basic with my so fantastic the tester uh, waves here. Just the dialogue, just some dialogue with this tune. So yeah, as you can see that'll handle all your mixing of your sounds. And that's as simple as pretty much just uh, changing the sound class of your uh, waves or your cues. Next up we have the standard kind of graphics selection screen here, so you can select presets, anti aliasing textures, post-process, shadows, view distance, foliage shading, visual effects, and whether or not to use V-Sync or to show the FPS. Uh, so you can see if I select a preset here, everything's going to go to Ultra, and if I select anything else, it's going to come off this because it's no longer equal to that preset. And then last but not least, we have a custom gameplay section here where you can add your own settings. Alright, so let's see how to do this real quick. So, there's only really two things that you need for this. <clears throat> First off, um, this is the BP Settings Data Manager. So, in your game instance, if you will, spawn an actor of the BP Settings Data Manager and store a reference to that. That's all you need to do for that then you're going to display this settings menu widget here. So this is the widget to show. And you can see it's just like normal. Go ahead and create that widget, add it to your viewport, and I've got a couple things you can set here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you've got to do actually. Uh, then of course you can you know go through and customize things as you wish, and as I said you can add your own custom options in there. So yeah, uh, if there's any questions, please do reach out to me, and thanks for watching.